Hey guys! Looks like I've taken so long in finishing this series that, uh... Well, a new patch has been released. Consisting of three lines. One of which being that, uh... A bug involving the coup d'etat was fixed, uh, which I planned on demonstrating in this series. The second being a bug that I didn't know was in the game uh, on hard difficulty, both of these being on hard difficulty, uh, that I didn't know whether it was going to showcase. And the third one was a, a display in the policy screen that shows you how much disaster relief money you have for emergencies, which I'd want to know why the hell that wasn't in the game. Anyway, apparently updating the game has made my save disappear. Now, don't you kids worry about that. I, I literally just noticed that as I was settling down to record the game. The game updated apparently yesterday. Uh, hang on with me. I know I've uh, been cutting out some plenty of like dead spaces here, but uh, I'm not gonna let that defeat this series, goddammit. See now, Griffith makes backup saves of pretty much everything. Ooh, yeah. I make backup saves of pretty much everything that I record, uh, including this series, as I do know where the saves are kept, and I'm not going to let things like that get derailed. Well, as it turns out, the game updating would have certainly derailed this series. Hell, it might still be derailed. I don't know how this save is going to respond here to the update. But, Grimith will not be stopped. Right. So there we were. Sobbing over the minister. I remember that now. Could you believe the game deleting the save like that? Mm-mm-mm. If I didn't make a backup, I'd have to start the series over. And even though I've only gone through a year and a half of time... Man. Poor form on the developer's part. So I was gonna go ahead and remove this minister. Because uh, I'm not handling that shit. Uh, someone made a comment uh, whose name escapes me currently. I'm pretty sure I had it memorized before starting this series until I realized my save was gone. So, yeah, uh, that pretty much every time he rolls the defense minister, this seems to pop up quite a bit. Yep, get out of my face. And I'll go ahead and grab that Patriot approval. I've uh, never fired a minister before, so I don't... I presume it'll pop up during, like, the cycling of the turn. Also, uh, my hydroelectric dam is done, so I have plenty of spare cash uh, that I can use to accomplish the things I want to do in life. Now, does the Disaster Relief Fund fix demonstrate during this? It does! How about that? I'm still greatly pleased that Grimith, in his recording wisdom, had the forethought to back up his saves. I did not expect my save to be deleted when the game was updated. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> I need to actually focus on fucking recording and playing this damn game now instead of just sitting here with a smug expression, otherwise I'm gonna... Kind of like 19 minutes of me just gloating to myself. Also, uh, another commenter, whose name has once again escaped me, Simdex? I don't even know how to pronounce it. Noted that there was an arrow here, which I've never fucking noticed. Shows me a second page that tells me about the Sinji society and culture. I wondered where I could see these percentages. Holy shit! Glorious days. Right. So, anywho. Um. I don't think I'm gonna do anything. Uh, one idea would be for me to, uh, grab the counterterrorism unit. Uh, to, uh, reduce terrorism. I think I will. Okay, go ahead and grab the National Defense Doctrine. I'm also going to go ahead and I know I 
Maybe you'll wait a turn before visitor screening. Uh, I do like to keep some money on hand for emergencies, which might pop up. Let's go ahead and press end turn. A prominent feminist group is asking that Amir Yusuf, a famous Basenji composer who features on the 50 Rial note, Rial? I don't know how to pronounce that. He replaced with a famous Basenji female scientist. Amir Yusuf has featured on the note for over 70 years, so his removal will no doubt upset Basenji traditionalists. But recent studies of his life have revealed an unpopular sexist, xenophobic side to the prominent historical figure, and Basenji currency features no notable women. Now, uh, I can afford to upset my patriots. This is a good idea, and I support it. And here's our opportunity to grab a new minister. Now, I think our uh, defense loyalty will be pretty good by this point. I've uh, worked pretty hard uh, minister, uh, military loyalty. I don't know entirely what the value is, but I did build the mansions. So I think I'm going to assign a foreign minister now instead uh, to keep uh, foreign relations strong. It'll open up some opportunities for me to engage in political wheeling and dealing, and hopefully the military stays on my side. Yeah? Yeah. Let's go ahead and assign ourselves a foreign minister that is also a capitalist. Okay. War has broken out. Damn. Who are my deals going to? Zarbal, I think. At least one of them. Let me take a look at the trade overview. Ah, uh, going to them both, huh? Okay. Well, it's gonna upset them both. And I won't be able to trade with either of them for a while, but I'm gonna call them both up. And I cancel my trade deals. Sure. Uh Basenji will be withdrawn from its trade agreements with you. Just like that. Fine. Whatever. Just don't come back looking for a favor anytime soon. And they won't trade with you for a while. I've noted that before, but just want to make sure that you uh folks know that. And also does upset them. Uh does upset relations. Uh but I think this is better. Uh than the constant uh relationship time. loss that we would have. Basenji will be withdrawn from its trade agreements with you. Just like that. Fine. Whatever. Just don't come back looking for a favor anytime soon. I also uh, have noted that I had some interest before in the past of like trying to broker like a peace agreement. But hell, I need a foreign... Okay, I see we're doing this thing again where the text box rapid uh, diminishes. I need a foreign loyal minister before I can even do stuff like that. So, uh, those aren't options for me. Uh, what I will do, though, is contact. Hmm. Looks like that ate up a turn unit, even though I didn't do much of anything other than just click around. Oh, well. Let's contact the rooster. Thank and, uh, no matter how terrible the deals will be, I am going to engage in them. We are interested in a Shit, I didn't mean to do that. Are you <laughs> I love his signature. Are you Paying me good rates though. Uh you know, over the market rate, I really appreciate it. Thank you, Emperor. Apologies, but I must go. Let us speak again later. There we go. Didn't really do anything else that turn at all. Okay. The good news is that I have accumulated some money in the Disaster Relief Fund to cover this. The bad news is that I don't have enough money in there to really cover it. But I did say that I was uh, considering upsetting the Karifi anyway. In this playthrough, we're pretty much saying that uh, they don't get a vote. Alternatively, I could blow a hundred million dollars. Uh, this just goes to show you, though, that having money committed to the Disaster Relief Fund uh, just helps. Uh, although, you, of course, you might not ever run into a disaster like this, so you could end up having that money wasted. Uh, but having a lot of money committed, of course, can result in no negatives. I think we're somewhere like in the middle, like 30, 40 million-ish. 
Uh, so what we're just going to do here is uh, commit $25 million. Uh, it's going to hurt support across the board, but I'm not spending $100 million in the treasury, and I'm definitely not asking for foreign aid. I'm going to just have to get over it. We'll figure it out. Alright, that box there vanished. We're making 50 million shekels per turn. Insufficient to fully recover. That it is. Got tons of Patriots. Good news, everyone. We got sh tons of Patriots. Alright. I'm going to think about what I want to do next now. Uh, so this would definitely be a cut moment. I also need to... I don't know, I'm still just so fucking... I mean, I'm not upset at the developer for making a patch which deleted my save. Because I had a backup. That in the game doesn't take too terribly long to play through. I've, I've taken as long as I have, just like, I wanted to think and explain stuff to you folks. But man, I'd be pissed otherwise. Okay, I didn't really comment on this, but uh, the GDP has actually risen to prosperous. Uh, which is definitely something I wanted, and also my support levels have uh, raised to social welfare state as well, which is giving me approval with all the factions across the board. I looked at this with the thought of maybe adjusting something, and it doesn't look like I need to do that. I've never fiddled with labor relations before, uh, other than, of course, adjusting minimum wage to that level, and I've never, like, switched my attitude towards uh, prohibiting uh, unions or not. Uh, perhaps that influences whether you end up becoming dictator for life. I genuinely don't know. I've also never, uh, rolled with police state, uh, but that might be a way to, uh, that might be a way to ensure the, the glory and awesomeness of, uh, hmm. I might experiment with some of these things in the future. For now, I do have a glut of cash. And I am definitely not lower in taxes, baby. Let's go build some infrastructure. As noted, I want that counterterrorism unit. I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. More than I want any of these other things, as a matter of fact. Because I do not want to get on that, that uh, terrorism uh, event chain. Damn, that would suck. So let's get some uh, visitor screening. And let's get a Basenji Intelligence Service Headquarters, even though that's going to cut into my income per turn. I'm going to leave uh, that money there to spare, uh, just in case we get an event. Now we have a State Intelligence Service slider. Slider? Yeah, slider. Or we can adjust how much money we want to spend on Intelligence Services. Now keep in mind that my income per turn thing did not update properly for me having built the Intelligence Service until I went to the Treasury uh, view. Uh, also keep in mind that I'm pretty cruddy at collecting intel, courtesy of the fact that Farouk, my uh, older brother, who wants to be Glorious Leader, is the Intelligence Minister. I already looked at that. Um, the next uh, secret project I'm going to build is the Great Firewall, which is right here. Uh, nuclear weapons development is pretty strong as well. But I need the clandestine facility to do that first, which I have access to getting as soon as I get more money. Uh, and the, you know, having a weapon of mass destruction is pretty cool, except for the part where America won't talk to you any longer. Don't have to worry about the uh, space program. That gives you, like, an infinite amount number of turns, but I seldom, like, mow through those. Assassin brainwashing allows you to take down uh, one of the political leaders in the area. And the time machine, last time I tried it, was broken. A uh, great firewall, though, uh, allows you to really control public opinion. The first time I built that uh, was my first playthrough when a minister requested it, and I had no regrets. It's fairly cheap, uh, easy to build, uh, high likelihood of success. Uh, I very much do like it. It doesn't, you know, doesn't cut in ongoing expenses that much. But we're going to leave that alone because I do still want to bank up some more cash. Uh, I need some more wiggle room here. Uh, my uh, economy is a little sluggish. I don't know what other crazy events will pop up. I suppose something I will do, though, is change that up. And, uh, yeah, it cuts in the income a little bit, but we'll be fine. 
All right, Excellency, our engineers were clearing debris from a building destroyed in the Revolution and discovered a cache of gold stored by the Tyrant King. Estimates vary, but the gold is worth between 100 and 150 million. What would you have us do with this newfound wealth? So, I can just directly add to the treasury, or share it with all the people. Which would uh, severely make up for uh, that horrible earthquake. Even give me some Karifi support here. But I'm not really having problem with earning political support from the various groups. Uh, so I'm just going to bank that money because I know how to best spend it. What's that? Man, I love the finance minister. His jobs are so fucking easy. Done. Good guy, Grimoth. Helping the people. I have tons of money to spend now. Let's get that counterterrorism unit. This here is the clandestine facility, uh, which allows you to make additional secret projects. And this is Cyber Warfare Command, uh, which I've only really ever built uh, to uh, get the achievement that has you like building all the buildings in one playthrough. Nothing here I particularly want to grab, uh, other than forward service uh, to open up Regional Summit. Uh, and then Cartel. I'm going to stay away from this line, uh, this playthrough, I reckon. Uh, uh, I don't really think that I need to pursue this line immediately, though. It's not a, it's not a primary concern. Those folks are still fighting. Of course, I still can't influence them uh, one way or the other. Checking a look, taking a look at the phone. Yeah, it's fine, whatever. How many bank loyalty points do I have? 69. Good number. Good number indeed. Hmm. As much as I like receiving free tank brigades, I am looking at that invitation to host prayer from the mountain. I don't know whether I am going to upset the ethnic Karifis or not. Their approval is currently the lowest, and uh, I could use the assistance on that front a bit. And alternatively, I could also use some tank brigades. Never know when a war will pop up. Ah, let's go ahead and grab that. That'll uh, keep them closer in my pocket and also help me uh, gain even more loyalty points per turn. I'd like to get missions from these two, uh, missions that I would actually complete. Uh, but we'll have to wait for that. Uh, the final thing that I am going to order, though, would be the Great Firewall. By the time this is done, the game's going to be roughly halfway over. But, uh, that's okay. Go ahead and end the turn now. Excellent. Oh, hold on. How if you don't... Yes, Thanks. you're damn right they do love me. Hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Make it a holy site, but be sure to charge admission, because we don't need Patriot approval at all. That puts the fundamentalists deep inside my pockets. Uh, what? Really, game? That's how you want to play it. Okay. So, I fire a minister who was in that slot, who offered me a mission that I didn't want. And I hired a new minister for a different position, who was in a different political field, and is definitely not the same person. Yet that mission that I just outright rejected applied to this new minister for a diff completely different post, and has upset her. This game. I enjoy it. It, uh, it certainly has a small learning curve, but the bugs in it, like this... Uh, along with the extensive reliance of the RNG that can cripple your country from the very beginning or not, do severely limit replayability here. In part, I think that's why I haven't uh, finished an entire this entire like playthrough in one sitting. And uh, although uh, viewers have asked me whether I plan on recording or even broadcasting any more playthroughs of this, I'm not entirely sure. There's moments like these. Yep. That happened. 
You know what? Fine. The capitalists, huh? Well. What's their support at? They can go fuck themselves too. Guess I'm gonna have to wait for that mission to expire. Fail. Well, yep. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. That upsets capitalists. Oh well. They can go get fucked. I'm uh, definitely not making as much sweet money as I used to be, but ah, they'll all get over it, maybe. Let's start working our way up to the regional summit and then the cartel that'll make use out of at some point. My overall popularity is pretty amazing otherwise, so it'll be okay. Capitalist approval got damaged, but there's not that many capitalists in society. Tons of patriots and fundamentalists, though. And now let me go ahead and show you the wonderful text that's transpiring here uh, for the Great Firewall. We've installed standard firewalls and uh, you guys can read. Unless you're not watching the video or like laying down in bed relaxing, then I, I can't help you. Or rather, I won't. Also, I did get a card uh, before we end the turn. It's probably something about supporting the Patriots. Yep. Hmm. Well, that's only $10 million. That's not a big deal for me. Yeah, that's okay. A fundamentalist, huh? Yeah, sure, have a fundamentalist as foreign minister. Whatever. I see no flaws with that. Is this minister upset at me? No! Alright, everything is good in the world. Let's just pretend that nothing bad happened. Also, I last turn I forgot to raise my tax rate again. Let's do that. Ostrich eggs banned south of the border. I really don't see any need to do much of anything else. I mean, I suppose I could call and talk to these people. Hello. Thank you. Yeah, I don't much feel like engaging those things, though. Particularly, I don't have to. I don't really need them to their relations to improve with me. I'm going to be getting that regional summit, which is pretty nice. Just calm and touch base. I think the uh, help files uh, say something about uh, if you don't do that. Um, we want to. We agree on this. Goodbye. That uh, their relations with you will lower. Uh, well, that doesn't really hurt me because I already canceled my deals with them. Zarbel is going to be upset at me, but <laughs> who are we kidding? I'm in America's pocket here, kids. The United Nations. Who cares about them, right? I can afford to lose relations with them and the U.S. more than I can with Zarbel. Of course, tragic Tajikistan, uh, their relations lowered. Uh, I didn't think about that, uh, courtesy of the fact that they're at war. The honorable Vesec I, I wish the bill. I think I'm gonna pretty much deliver the same speech. That was a pretty good speech. Let's deliver it again. In this I never really tried delivering the same speech before. I don't think. Uh, hmm. Oh no. No, you're not tricking me with that. Well, it looks like I'm actually going to fail this speech. That's what I get for trying to be stagnant. You get to see a failed speech screen, everyone. I'm not that impressive. I understand. I'll get over it. Oh. I don't know how I won you over, having not done a mission for you. Unless something popped up there that I just didn't notice. No, I would have gotten a card from you. I guess you just like me. I'm okay with being liked. Thank you for liking me. Yeah, that speech sucked. That's what I get for trying to be boring. I've, uh... <laughs> that was just, uh... I was just demonstrating the feature. 
Yes, that's what I was doing. Something, something. Uh, demonstrative purposes. I do like this uh, disaster relief uh, display, though. I think it is a good addition. I think it is a good addition. Again, though, why wasn't that already in the game? I also like having a prosperous economy as well as a social welfare state. That's uh, maintaining... I mean, capitalist approval is uh, going to be capped in a few turns again. Which is absolutely gorgeous, despite that hit that I've taken. Despite the hit I took to with all of these folks. Now, the Creepy supporters are, understandably, a bit displeased by uh, my lack of effective response for their earthquake, but... Ah, they can go pound sand for all I care. Eh, it's better to have some money in the bank rather than grabbing that. Just go ahead and donate these turn slices to charity. How? Oh. Haha. <laughs> I don't take your shit. Have the police arrest the strikers. No striking. It's bad. Woohoo! Completed a new mission. Man, I love the finance minister. I will take your money and put it in my bag. See, there's no need for cutting, I don't think, whenever the, uh... There's no really desire for me on my part. Whenever the turns fly by so fast. Of course, there will be at least one cut that I'll end up making. Might be some more, too. The, uh, the Great Firewall has not progressed long enough for uh, the text there to change. Taking a look at the strategic overview. We still have this infantry unit uh, in reserve because some missions uh, may have you deploy a military unit that's in reserve. Which is why I'm keeping it there. Uh, one mission does have you uh, utilize an undeployed fighter squadron. Which is a little aggravating, considering how they take no time to redeploy. But, uh... Hopefully we don't run into that one. I am maintaining all right relations with all of my neighbors. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and make those better. There we go. Strunk! This gives me access to the cartel uh, the next time uh, my trade deals come up. It's good to have some money in reserve. I don't know if we're going to hit a financial crisis or the epidemic. Uh, we'll see what the event chain or the event chain goes. I've never accepted this before. Because I want to be aware of everything that happens in my country, and it's only $3 million per turn. But for the interest of experimenting, I think I actually will. A Chinese biotechnology firm has been banned from operating in China due to unethical practices. They are seeking to invest in a large research facility in Basenji due to our open financial system and absence of regulations surrounding human testing. We are not sure what exactly the firm will be researching. They assure us that they will quietly invest capital in Basenji in exchange for no unpopular requirements being made of them. Hmm. We'll see where that goes. I'm sure it might involve something involving the UN or the United States. Or my people getting all uppity and shit like that's never happened. technology sector. Neat. See, we just melt through these turns. Just We're on cruise control, baby. We can now terminate TCP packet transmissions. Yeah! We're gonna control this country, baby. The Senji in the packet. <laughs> Alright, I will uh, take a break here. Grimith, cut this shit up for me. The Senji has dropped in ranking to 83rd in the latest UN Education Index. That's bullshit. My schools are not even remotely insufficiently funded. They are at maximum funding. I am not committing. No, you can go fuck yourself. I'm doing nothing. I'll get that approval back. You can't... You're not my boss game. You can go pound sand too. I'll save those loyalty points. I don't know what a major catastrophes might happen. That uh, might make me do something, and I really don't feel like interacting with anyone. Because I don't have to. Next turn. Excellency! The Sinji officials have discovered the wreck of an ancient wooden exploration vessel off the coast of a Sinji. The wreck appears to be at least 600 years ago, and may be an ancient Chinese treasure ship. This is a glorious find for the scientific and historical community. Relations aren't hurting. Uh, I'll be taking that money. Thank you. Put it in the bag. Sweet, sweet, delicious money. 
The Sinji citizens are growing more patriotic. Great! How many of them are there? Almost half of my nation is consists of patriots. Good, good, good. Not that many capitalists. But they are doing great work out there, I assure you. Honestly, I don't really know what the, uh, the strength here represents. Like, I've survived not knowing for all these games I've played. Uh, <laughs> including two playthroughs on hard difficulty, so... I don't know. Tariq, you have anything to tell me? Generals are concerned. Oh, yeah. Any excellence? Generals concerned with attack. That's true. Uh, one opportunity would be for me to uh, go into drone warfare. Uh, that ha does have a uh, monetary upkeep cost. However, that allows me to acquire drones which don't have an upkeep cost. Uh, they're pretty cruddy units. Uh, but one of the playthroughs, I had like 15 of them. Uh, <laughs> Farouk never stood a chance whenever he finally launched his coup. It was pretty entertaining. Just... <laughs> this complete domination. Yeah, I'm under no compulsion to really spend my money, though. I don't really see an attack coming, unlike my military does. I suppose I can call everyone, see how they're all doing, touch base. Hey, guy. Thank hey, Chicky. But I have no real interest in, like, actually conducting any deals with them or discussing issues. Because I don't need to. I'm just doing this, again, because... Uh, the uh, help Thank file does say you. that things, well, the relations might dwindle if I don't do that. And I don't feel like talking to the ambassador. Uh, nah. I don't really need more Patriot support. They weren't even upset by that. Who even cares? Seventy-five percent probability. Huh? Well, I'm sure you're doing fine. Next. Oof. Understood. Hmm. Gonna go ahead and acquire royal police. I'm also gonna go ahead and acquire this uh presidential. I mean, it does eat five space bucks per turn, but I do like having the presidential guard. Uh, they are a thing that is of use uh, at the end of the game. I don't know whether they show themselves to be of any use uh, during events, which is why I'm so hesitant about acquiring these things. I'm actually trying to, like, save up some money and bankroll things. And be fiscally responsible. A novel concept, I know, but events and disasters can transpire. Uh, we have a nice amount of money in the Disaster Relief Fund. And that'll continue to uh, pile up at $5 million per turn. Because I have a proactive effort here, but I'm not going to be a prepared country. Let's not get hasty here. Yeah, my schools are the tits. Full transit system. Got disability grants, homeless shelters. I am really supporting the people here. And they all know it, and they fucking love me. As they should. Glorious leader here is so damn glorious. You don't even know. Also, in theory, I shouldn't lean back in my chair. My stiff back metal chair away from the computer. Uh, and my microphone, more importantly. Some people are quietly lobbying for Basenji to implement tax shelters for its wealthiest citizens. <laughs> Greedy capitalists seize their assets. <laughs> it's okay. Their approval will go back up. Oh. Wow. We've just flown through the turns, haven't we, folks? That's what happens whenever I don't really need to spend that much time thinking about things. We're on autopilot here, effectively. Eh, how are those... How are those commodities doing in value, huh? Do I really need to uh, activate the cartel? Oh, wow. Oh, no, I do not. Oh, baby. Give me this chicken man on the phone. Chicken man. Thank you. 
Buy my stuff! Yes! Chicken man! Are you? Buy more of my stuff! Oh man, the, the, the beginning was so rough. I guess the cartel would have been better there. I did not expect these things to fluctuate up, uh, like a so. But boy, am I glad they did. <laughs> Even more money! About to install a whole new set of barrier and offensive tactics. Tens of thousands of monitors to monitor individuals' activities. Yes. Yes. Good, good. You know, I might actually get some more military. Ah. 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 I mean, a fighter squadron could be useful for an event. Ah. How about that? Ah. Maybe I will. Not the boss of me. Maybe I will. I don't know. Military costs money. Get the drone warfare. What else am I gonna do with all this money? I mean, I really am gonna be rolling in these shackles. Let's go ahead and get the presidential guard. That uh, hurts my loyalty a bit. Drone warfare. That'll end up paying for itself. Let's go ahead and get some drones here. They are uh, pretty cruddy on the stats. Uh, you certainly really don't want to have them like defending for you. Uh, the defense stat is what's uh, taken into consideration when someone attacks you. The attack value is what's taken into consideration when you attack someone. I know, right? Super complicated. Some bitch. That would be the terrorist event chain. All right, chicken a stan. It always is the fucking chickens. Let's just go ahead and outright close the borders with them. I know, it hurts, but, uh, better that than more terrorism events. Oh, suck. That chain will just keep getting worse. And since hard difficulty seems to be, like, six gears instead of five. I've uh, still got over half the game left to go through events. So that could definitely snowball into something worse. Excellent. If you... Good. Thanks. Go ahead and grab another drum. How does, uh, how does the military feel now, Tariq? Do I... With respect, your excellent minister's candy. Are they? Thanks. Are they? I mean, I guess 59% isn't good enough. <laughs> oh. Damn. It was the super loyal finance minister, too. Some bitch. Damn you, events. My poor loyalty points. I was using those, okay? Those were my loyalty points. You can't have them. Mine. Bye, 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 bye. Damn bastards taking my loyalty points for I can... I don't even care. Longer droughts are crippling, but Sinji's already meager grain harvests. Our social scientists propose that we get ahead of the growing issue of climate change by purchasing large quantities of arable farming land from other sovereign nations, while it is still cheap to do so. This will anger the United Nations, for we would be simply creating new food shortages in other parts of the world that lack the wealth or capability to manage the issue. Have faith. Climate change will one day work in our favor. Just... Hold your hands up to your head, plug your ears, and believe. I want to believe. Ah, I mean, believe's pretty nice. Damn it. Well, just keep banking up those points and banking the money. Money's pretty good. What? What? Come on. Yeah, I guess. 
go ahead and upset the fundamentalist a little bit and spend a little bit of my money. What's up? <sighs> Ever tell you how much I love the finance ministers in this game? Done. That was so challenging. How's the Great Firewall coming? Don't you fuck this up for me. Don't you fuck this up for me. I think I'll be importing Bengal Tigers. Yay! Basenji computer scientists have developed the Great Firewall. From now on, you can be assured that subversive messages will not reach your population. Just in time for a new speech. Maybe I won't be cruddy at this one. We know. I won't, uh, I won't be cruddy on this one. Our glorious revolution marked the day that we established our independence and our, our national identity. I forget that she reads these things. Our independence and our national identity. Yeah. We will defend ourselves against imperialist aggressors with the might of our blessed armies. Yeah. To protect the revolution. Yeah. Get fucked, imperialists. Second, we will promote developing and prototyping new technologies, especially those in support of asserting our sovereignty. Damn right, yeah! The Sinji! Fuck yeah! Finally, it is with a full heart that I say to you all... Free blowjobs from everyone. <laughs> Our people will put their steadfastness into the works of peace and human culture. This is our desire. We hope for it, and we believe in it. Alright, so last speech bombed, but this speech was the tits, because I said the same old thing. You gotta you keep having to trick the people with new things. The Patriots loved it, of course, but everyone liked it to some degree. It's not exactly like I'm hurting for support. The Sinji now controls what online content the public can see. Ooh. New intelligence report. Of Dotto What is it? What is it? Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh my, Donald. Oh my. Oh, Donald. Donald! Oh, Donald. Donald. Donald, man. Also, let's go ahead and raise that tax rate back up. 63 million dollars per turn. What bonus did I get? Money. 180 loyalty points. And those are an amazing asset. Uh, do I want to build anything else? It'd be the space program, unless I got the clandestine facility. Maybe I will get nukes. Maybe I'll just... save the money. I mean, I have a foreign minister, so I don't need the assassin brainwashing for one event chain. I have pretty good relations with all my neighbors. Time machine is trash. Space program, like, we already had the Klandathu bug menace ruin our hotel. And nukes, I have great relations with the Americans, and with my neighbors. So that's not a problem either. Hmm. Looking good. Looking good. Yeah, I still don't have one who's loyal to me. And of course that took up one of my turn units because I'm a terrible person. If I had a space program, that wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, and here we are. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and call up Donald. Donald! Day, My man. Free to meet sometime in the next few weeks. You it is would. A pleasure, Your Excellency. I would be happy to meet with you when an opportunity opens in our busy schedules. I haven't spoken with Donald for a while. How's the kids, Donald? Hey, uh, just learn something about you, buddy. Hmm. <laughs> Good times indeed. I actually thought about ending the series there, but I'm pretty interested in talking to Donald, too. 
I won't uh, leave that on a cliffhanger for you folks. Much beloved imports of softwood furniture from India are correlated with an increase in reported observations of an invasive palm beetle. Ah, whatever, the capitalists, they'll get over it. Uh oh. Excellency, do you have a moment? What's up? Yes. What is it? You may be aware a widespread failure of financial. Ah, we're having the financial crisis event in this game. Okay. Global depression. Dependence on the United States as a global consumer has slowed down growth in most of the developing world. Yes. But Sanji will be experiencing the crunch as private businesses struggle to stay profitable. If you don't mind me saying, you must watch the treasury closely and be prepared to protect the country from rising unemployment. I've had this event uh, pop up uh, for my uh, first two playthroughs, and on the third one I experienced the epidemic. I'm uh, proficient in handling both. Thank you for seeing me, Ambassador. It is my pleasure. Can I talk to you about this? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I've never heard this before. Ambassador, we have evidence that you are responsible for the death of a migrant worker in Basenji. If you do not want this evidence to come to light, we expect you will portray our country favorably to your Secretary of State. You bastard. Very well. You will get my endorsement. <laughs> she even unlocked the naked truth. Successfully blackmail an American ambassador. Have fun. I believe that is all I have to say for the moment. Very well. Thank you for your hospitality. I love how quickly he I changes too. It's not as if I was hurting for relationship with America, but I mean, I got that info, so I might as well use it, right? Right? Okay, so good thing I am saving up money because I have to prepare for a financial crisis event. Good that I'm making $63 million per turn. Most glorious indeed. Delicious dam. I got the great firewall. My exports are selling at beautiful prices. The Sinji citizens are growing even more patriotic. Yes. And the US dollar crashes. Speculators concerned about impact to Basenji economy. All right. My approval ratings are awesome. There are very few liberals in my country. Oh, well. Looking good, Parliament. Could look better if I had more support, but eh. They'll get over it. We'll just keep big up loyalty points, you know? Do I see with respect? Nina I, you know, thanks. Hey. Thanks, buddy. You're a real big help, let me assure you. I don't know what I want to do with all this money. Oh, right, right. Save it. Save the money. Okay, so no medical crisis event to worry about. We won't be getting the cantankerous genius doctor from America. No, Hugh Laurie. You're not al I mean, you're allowed to come to Basenji, but we're not going to be paying you $5 million per turn. Holy shit. <laughs> It's five million dollars per week. All right, with the train coming, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be the end of the video. So tune in next time. We're gonna have a financial crisis. Uh, we're gonna keep banking up loyalty points. We're gonna see some more horrific events. We're gonna buy some more drones uh, and uh, see if I can steamroll my way to uh, facing Farouk. Uh, I'm pretty sure my loyalty is too good at this point that I really can't like trigger early coup d'etat. I've never done that before. I might do that in a future playthrough. Gotta keep things interesting in life. I'll see you later.